We're a month away from Valentine's Day, and oh. if you're trying to get a date, one of the best places to look might be at work. Mm -hmm. However, following all the sexual harassment claims and allegations lately, people might be a little hesitant to approach someone they like in a professional setting. So to help people out, Huffington Post recently put out their tips on asking out a coworker in 2018. They suggested checking what HR policies are, in, you know, in place first, mm -hmm. maintaining professionalism no matter what their response is, and if they do say yes, going to get coffee as a first date. Oh. So ladies, do you think looking for love in the workplace is still a good idea due to the current climate? Yeah, because you know they'll get a check. That's why, you know. <laughs> you know they're employed at least. Exactly. You know, That's and so I've been true. trying to get a cameraman number one. Hey, Kevin. Hey. Hey. He My got no goodness. ring on his finger, but if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go over there to cameraman number two. Hey, okay. cameraman number two. <laughs> I actually think that I get it that there's a lot of things that are going on and I think it's an amazing thing that people are speaking out yeah. about sexual harassment in the workplace. But I also think that we should acknowledge that there are also some great people that you could meet at your workplace. Yeah. And, and don't kill the love. I've heard incredible stories of people meeting in their workplace that have found the love of their lives there. Yeah. They have things in common. Yeah. You know, they get to go on lunch breaks together. It is possible. Yeah. So I don't want to kill the love at work. I it's just how you do it. Yes. Yeah. And I think the workplace is actually the sauciest place to kind of meet somebody. Because think about it. You get dressed. Yeah. You prepare yourself. You bring your very best. Sometimes you bring the initiatives to make the company grow. It's empowering. I remember back when I was working for MAC Cosmetics, I would go visit like different, you know, makeup counters. And I worked at the Valley Fair Mall in the Bay Area, San Jose. And I remember there was this super sexy security guard who worked <laughs> at the booth across from, from, from my, my, my area, right? So every lunch, like I'd make sure I'd get my extra gloss on. I put on, you know, my twig liner all thick, my lips are all luscious. I'd walk over to the Auntie Anne's pretzel place I'd order a pretzel. Okay. I'd bend over a little bit further just to get my pretzel. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you, know you I mean? Did you ask him out? Did no, you get because a date? I didn't. I didn't know how to do that. I just flirted real. I put it on thick. So one day, uh -huh. I was standing there at the Mac counter. I remember it like it was yesterday. There was glass doors. He walks in. He's super tall. He's got this chisel. He leans over to the counter where I was standing. I was like, Is he? Is he gonna talk to me? Oh my god. So I backed up and I saw like his his little chin strap shave and he was like, Come here real quick and I was like okay. okay and I leaned over and he was like do you guys sell eyeliner for dudes <laughs> wait was he wearing eyeliner at the time no Tam why would a man want to wear guy liner in the day what do you think uh, Oh, because he had some things he liked to do at night. Is at it night. an important point of what to add on to, you know, the tips that the have to post? Yes, you understand make how... Oh, yeah. Make sure he's single. Make, make sure, sure he's straight. straight. Yeah, you know, yeah. make sure. That'll make Wait, somebody so uncomfortable have you guys for sure. ever dated anyone in the workplace before? before? Yeah, all the oh, time. Oh, well, oh. it's easier when I work in the office, when I worked yes. as an engineer, because it was other engineers, and you work long hours, so it just makes sense. But like no. I said, make sure that you know that they're single and that they're available. If they do say no, then leave them alone. That's what causes, you yeah. know, the harassment. Oh, that is true. I tried... I tried it. I mean, being in actress, you're, you know, on a show. Right. And sometimes, you know, you work with that person all the time. Are and you can give us some behind the scenes No, juice? I'm not going to tell you who it was. My sister, sister? Nobody knows. I'm not going to even tell you the show. But Ooh. I will say, you know, at first, it's really fun when nobody knows. Right. That's oh, what makes it yes. really exciting. It's yeah. secretive. But the moment people find out, you feel like all this pressure because they're like, okay, now if things don't work out and the show gets picked up, how are you guys gonna handle this? Yes. Oh. Is this gonna handle, you know, your character? Yes. Is this gonna handle the show? That's why well, me and Jeannie haven't started dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things might get weird around yeah, here, you know? We, we know some of our cast and crew's dating, and we find yes, out, we, and we, we be like, we, ooh, we, really? We get yes. excited.